Hi there, welcome back. I am Frozen Mother, and today I'll be doing a bit more of the mercenaries, mate. Uh, this time around, I am trying to fill up with a party on this one here, just trying to get some levels up on some of the other characters I haven't done in the lower le rank levels, kind of not completing any bounties that I can do. But I was trying to get some of these bounties done also. Just kind of off camera, was doing a little bit there, but trying to keep sort of the main stuff I wanted to play through anyway. As far as trying to complete these challenges, some of these are very awkward ones to try and complete. I would think just having the characters they are can be very difficult sometimes. Especially when you're looking to always try and balance out like healers versus ones that set up taunt. I should probably put a Lich King in here anyway. Now we'll jump in. So yeah, we're going to go back against the Mad Bomber, try and complete the challenge that we didn't do last time. And let's start off. Okay, so here we do want to put all of our... I fight! Yeah, I want to put both these down, just because the fact they're going to make a bigger difference on this. So the 6, 10, and 5. That just attacks an enemy, that attacks and has a bleed effect, so I probably want to kill that as quickly as possible. Anyway. So, like, the bleed will only affect on this, but it's not too bad. And then we can start just whitting the rest of these down. So, as for the multiplayer mode, um, at the moment, I am not too sure if I should jump in. Just create, like, a team that has some level of synergy to it and just play it out from there, which I think is probably going to be sort of like a good way to do it as such. Because at least then we can kind of see what the mode looks like. So if you think you want to kind of see stuff like that, so you can always leave a comment down below or give the video a little like. Gives me an idea of what people would like to see me going through it as well. Also, probably me watching me pull my hair out of other people just having like these amazing teams and I've just got nothing. But it would be kind of nice to get an idea of what people would like to see, especially as... So yeah, healing is good. Yeah, we take the healing. Oh yeah, we complete the runic slam, that's good. Because we all know, when I play games, give all fighters 15 health. Interesting. So even my opponent gets them as well. Yeah, I just realised that buff I think also applies to enemy minions as well, which yeah means I've given them 15 health as well. <laughs> that was not a good For choice on my part. My sky boat, that is fine. Except here, they're all getting healing per turn, and I can just start taking all these guys out, pretty much. Make all their abilities slower, and I get healing, and everything heals. There's one thing, I'm not too sure if the Lich King is classed as a human. He is a human. That is interesting. So you get healing, you get healing, you get healing. And it's like he never took damage. So now you get the taunts. And... 
You should probably attack that. I will make your one speed slower. Okay, so heals, attack in, heals. Yeah, because I have noticed that the opponents just seem to focus down the characters, which does get a bit on my nerves. And I know. I know the AI is there meant to just to slow you down, right? I get that. But it's kind of like... Like, if you guys ever play Pokemon, which most people have at this point, they kind of know the idea of it. Sometimes there are games where you play them, and you look at them... So do damage, will repeat three times. Demon's getting that. Do your damage, your friendly character, if it's Demon, get power, 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 power. Nah, plays still better. So, with Pokemon, sometimes you just go through like particular types of enemies and or trainers, and they basically their whole design around what they do is to just kind of essentially cripple your team until you get to the next Pokemon Center. Like they're not there to win games; they're I not there to more. defeat you in any way, shape, or form. They are just there to make sure you have a rough time of it. For the Alliance and so they have like paralysis, poison, confusion, burn. Well, they don't really use burn because it doesn't affect you after the battle, but like those sort of things, and they just keep piling them up and up and up and up and up, and to the point where Shatter is going like, really? Just really? Like this is a good example of it. Instead of them thinking to myself, oh, you know what we should do? We should target like the biggest health minion or whatever. It's no, we should target the weakest one possible. So, like, taunt cards in this are just a lot better because of it, unless they have major scope on top. Like, even, say, being able to buff my mage is a big deal, because it, event it evidentially does a lot. So yeah, I haven't really. Like, I know some of the cards are, like really good in the multiplayer on this, but then when you like play them outside the multiplayer, they're probably not that great. After this many attack, so I steal four four from an enemy. I turn a three. Game plus two plus two. After a character dies, game plus four plus four. Uh. Right, just the spiky shield is better. Gaining plus two plus two. Against Gruff Room Tome. And the thing is, I quite like this mode. Like, I find it entertaining. It's quite unique in the way that you can play it and go through things and set up ideas of what you want to do. It's just that little bit of annoyance I have with. sort of this level based system that benefits people from just putting a fair amount of time 
I will say it, it's not something that you can kind of just, you know, casually do like myself, where like I come home from work and then we play a few games for a little bit, and then I've got to do everything else on the house. No, you need to use the bigger bullets. No, she don't, because this will no, it doesn't go off quick enough. That's fourth, that's third. What are you doing? No, you need to do that. Actually, yeah, don't bother doing that. You just heal that up, then you attack that. Oh, but you're going fifth, Job's not... Done. So it's like, behold the problem. That is interesting, because I didn't think of using him, and if he's got that sort of ability behind him, that is quite unique. Heal. Deal five. buff on all those, it's buffing my board, I created a demon, now I get to do something silly on that. So I would like to actually sit there and do some of the multiplayer, I don't know if it's something that you guys would like to see and me to record as well, so yeah if you do want to see that, again, just kind of leave a comment down below or you know, like the video, so I get an idea of sort of if people that do want to see this content and like enjoying it do want to see that sort of content as well. And you can kind of watch me go through the struggles of trying to level up the characters in that mode. And we'll keep this going alongside it as well. Take just two, take two less damage. Actually, casting one of those abilities twice is actually really good. Like double healing can be good. Again, that's all that done. Now, on to the Mad Bomber. So, I know I've made this harder by giving them a buff of 15 health. Don't worry. I know. I'm an idiot. But it's fine. We'll, 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 we'll deal with my poor choices. It is absolutely fine. So... First of all, let's just knock down the Mad Bomber first. Kaboom! Funny, they all hit my minions. And the one minion that actually needed to be hit anyway. But I know this does 30 damage to everything. So all I've got to do basically is just like keep buffing this up, attack everything. They do 16 damage to here, so that's what we'll do. I don't need the healing right now.
so... No, I don't want to attack that just yet. So after it is attacked. Oh, you shouldn't have gotten attacked anyway. Let's work on you then. Job's done. Yeah, one has to go there because it'll kill everything off. But you, you kind of see what I mean when I say this stuff isn't random. But anyway, that should finish it here. Let's claim our rewards. So I know from having some failed attempts in the other runs with sort of lower level characters that you do actually still earn some rewards for failing. So this one's always bear in mind that there's no harm in you just jumping into a run and just seeing how well you can do. Keep your blades sharp. But it's that's all those that are done. And there we've got to do the next one here, which you get again a few more coins. But let's see what we've unlocked with our coins. So we can gain one health, which just goes two and then five, which is like okay, but the extra healing I think is more beneficial every so often. So we'll upgrade that first. Again, it's a nice holy spell, could have some benefits with holy stuff. Rathian. Yeah, like, it, okay. Like, this doesn't matter if you can try on the deal, deal four run damage. Like, okay, it attacks, but, like, this could do a lot more depending on what that upgrades it to, or just upgrading this could be better because, again, there's actually, like, 2 2 on it. So. Yeah, and I don't want to upgrade that either. We have an upgrade for Gruff. We do. So that gives the bitch the bigger buff, which is quite nice. Gain taunt this turn after you, ca after you cast an extra ability. Gain plus two, plus four. So this is kind of like a pseudo taunt I can give this minion while giving it an extra, in this case, six health and three attack. I can use every other turn. It's actually quite good, especially with like healers and stuff. That could like really add up. Brukan. So next is two speed sower, three speed and five. The five damage plus then the extra nature, yeah, that's just way too good to pass up. Especially if I need to use this ability later on again. And Zyrilla. Yeah, like, I was thinking about this, like, okay, it does start with more damage, and it can do double damage when you've got the weakness. But I don't know how good this is, but if I'm going to start something like a heal build, I might as well upgrade it as much as I can. So, that's what we'll go with. But again, so thank you much for watching, hope you all enjoy these videos, and I will then see you in the next one.